thanks for a wonderful introduction. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Today, I would like to share with you all the story of world's one of the largest financial enterprise, which created its own ecosystem and how it helped its clients to succeed with it. So this 232-year-old investment company is serving its clients who are property builders, financial advisors, government, corporations, and high net worth individuals with its 12 business lines and more than 250 client-facing applications. That's how it helps them connect to opportunities across 100 markets in 35 countries. There are a lot of disruptive innovations happening in the financial industry today. The highly competent financial startups, which are popularly called as fintechs, are revolutionizing the financial world with high-end technology. Technological trends include wearable computing, big data analytics, cryptocurrency, and more. At this age of interruption, what's a company's innovation initiative? So our 250 plus applications, they were all developed at different points of time, would focus on a single service to address specific business requirements. But because of that, the clients of today are going through a fragmented and disjointed experience. So a strategy solution was devised to solve that. That's the digital ecosystem, the strategy to a new generation technology platform. The motive is to deliver a unified experience which is simple, powerful, and secure as well. The enterprise user experience team joined hands with business and technology for this initiative. On our road, we faced two challenges. Firstly, the whole thing is a legacy system. It didn't encounter significant changes over a period of time, but it had innumerable features used by people for ages. And there are multiple user groups like financial advisors, broker dealers, operational associates, sales assistants, their usage patterns and priorities differ. And all applications need to comply with serious regulatory requirements. Above all, the clients are never the same. They have specific business requirements for which we used to provide customized business solutions. Considering all these factors, what was the first step in the initiative? See, we wanted to start it with collecting the evidence to discover the problems in the existing system. So we rolled out a great survey to all our clients to collect their feedback on four major aspects. So how effective is their application in accomplishing their everyday job? How easy or difficult is the whole experience? How enjoyable is the whole experience? And how likely will they recommend it to others? The results brought us the reality that the application helped them just to complete their task. It didn't provide them an end-to-end -end seamless experience. It wasn't much effective, easy, or enjoyable. You would probably guess whether any recommendations were apparent. And now, it was time for us to dig a little deeper. We wanted to analyze the usage patterns with respect to the application, device that they use, frequency of usage, functionalities, and more. So for all these analysis, we have a dedicated usage analytics team with us who work on things like click-through, uh, feedback, and service calls. And with that, we had answers for all our questions related to usage patterns like this. The most used functionality of the application last month. How many people have used a feature using mobile last month? How many people have adopted to a web version till date? Which are the top two user groups of any applications? So, with create survey and usage analytics reports serving as evidence. So, we identified the key users. So, it's time for us to do some field work with them. The user researchers from the team went to meet our users in their workplace. They spent full day with them. They wanted to analyze how they schedule their day, what are all their motivations, frustrations, the magnitude of manual work involved. They tried to, at the end of the day, we have got interesting insights like most of the advisors who do sensitive jobs like placing trade for their investors start to use their application in their work, in their, uh, on their way to work or even at their home. And most of the operational associates who work 
work for more than nine hours a day. They hardly take any breaks. So this helped us to understand our users and the work lives much better than before. And with those observations, we created retrospective user journey maps for all the user groups. We plotted their actions, gaps in the experience, their own suggestions to improve the experience, frustrations, and everything. This helped us to find the opportunities to improve the experience. So now with the usage analytics and uh, the contextual inquiry, we have found that there are serious problems in the existing system's UI behavior. So we conducted usability tests on the UI element and the behavior that existed in the system. But this time we wanted to use our own employees because we wanted some unbiased feedback of a novice user who are totally new to the system. We tried to mimic the client system's UI behavior with our own internal applications. I would like to show you some examples of the tests that we have conducted. So the first is test on moral windows. So we just gave them a simple task of adding content to the dashboard. So it's with an internal application. So in that, the content will be inside that moral window. In that only 10% of the people were able to complete the task successfully without any hookups. All other had problems in finding the call to action selecting the content and then verifying the action The next is the most extensively used usage pattern in our applications. We had crazily long forms with large number of fields. It, it's basically because of the regulatory requirements. So here we tested with two versions of the forms that we had. One is with the long forms in which all those fields will be in a single page. So towards the end, while completing, users found the whole experience to be really exhausting and boring, but they really like the other version, wizards. More than 80 percentage of the users really like to use this wizard version. They uh, completed the forms with much ease. So likewise, we have conducted tests on every human's UI behavior. So now it's the end of all the research and analysis that we have conducted in our existing system. So the whole thing is sat now and tried to group their findings into actionable insights. What are they? So most of our clients are users of our multiple services. So they were logging into multiple applications every day. One application to manage client and phone details, another application to look at the detailed market news. And across all the applications, more than 60 percentage of the functionalities are overlapping. Things like list of clients and accounts can be found by most every application. And it was found that they were all redundant and added to the platform. Next is the most important spoiler of experience. As I said, all the applications were developed at different points of time. They all had their own set of UI elements and behaviors, which were properly defined. From simple input form elements to huge reports, everything exhibited different behaviors and the level of user centeredness was very low. And there were problems, inconsistencies with the navigation patterns as well. And people had serious problems in finding the information that they want. They were able to find the right information only after at least few unsuccessful attempts. So having found all these insights, it was time for us to ideate and design. We wanted to start that phase by creating a structure for the whole ecosystem. Business experts were invited for the process to help us understand all the services that we offer. With that understanding and the previous analysis that we have done, we tried to come up with numerous ideas. Before zeroing in on one of them, we asked ourselves a few questions. Which structure would eliminate the problems with redundancy of functionalities and information finding? which is going to help users from all different user groups, which is going to improve the business. By answering all these questions, we have come up with a taxonomy and tested it with our real users. A set of 150 users who are diverse in their role, the services that they use, and even the geographical locations were part of this whole process. We used the close card setting methodology in which we had the primary menu items and the users are supposed to place the functionalities 
and our respective people. During the whole process, we encouraged them to think about it. So at the end of the session, we have got valuable comments with which we have created the taxonomy that exists today with our system. The next thing on the line is our own design system. A design system which should be bought, which should serve as a foundation for all future design solutions ranging from quick and smaller ones to large and highly impactful ones. Something which should make the design and the subsequent development process better, faster and more user-centered. With those things in mind, we have devised a reference spots. It should be consistent throughout the application, it should help them do their everyday job with much efficiency and effectiveness, it should be scalable to accommodate the future use cases and requirements, reusable from a designer's and developer's perspective, and it should be responsive as well. So we started this whole design system exercise by doing task analysis. We identified gaps in the existing task flows, we defined and removed some of the task flows. And then we tried to group all the elements of the design system into five major components, which include typography, color palette, layout, interaction patterns, and navigation. I'd like to show you some glimpses of the design system that we have created. So this will show you the layout, which was based on different form factors and for the mobile. And this would show the components like colors, typography, text box, buttons, into a tab, progress bars, and everything. So every UI element and its behavior were defined based on the different scenarios in which they could be used. Next comes the component groups, which has data grid, modal windows, forms, etc. And the next part would interest the developers more. So this shows code associated with every element and its behavior. This is something which brought the whole design system into life. No design is complete without testing and iteration, right? So the beta version of the application is released to all our key users. And with their feedback and usage and analytics, the whole system uh, was updated before we released the final version to all our clients. After all this, What's the impact that we have created? Just at the end of first month of its release, more than 50 percentage of the existing users adopted this new version, and the user satisfaction increased to 75 percentage, and the net promotion increased to 65 to 60 percentage. Apart from all these quantitative aspects, we learned that the overall productivity of the users improved a lot. They were able to complete their everyday job with more efficiency and less time. And they were happy using a simple, sophisticated and powerful system in their everyday work. I'd like to end the whole story with Bruce Nussbaum saying that design in the end is about creating better things for people and along the way can generate better profits as well. And today we have the privilege to make this whole true by creating positive impact in our users' lives and in our business as well. Thanks for listening. Give us a high level overview about the digital ecosystem itself. Yes. So as I said, uh, we have multiple services, multiple business lines. I'd like to quote some examples like we have uh, investment management, wealth management. Uh, we call it as clearing services. So we uh, are too many clients like banks, uh, they call it a city bank or something. So government, they were all our clients. And they were using our uh, different applications. But we uh, on our uh, road, we learned that there are people who are using our multiple services and they were using multiple applications. So the whole experience, we learned that it is a disjoint and a fragment experience. So we wanted to optimize it by creating a single portal, by creating a single system where all the people can use that single system to do all their jobs. That's what we call as a digital ecosystem. We actually created our ecosystem which could house all the services that we offer, all the services that were offered using hundreds of applications. We, uh, we created a single ecosystem where, we can, where all the people can use those services and just go log in and use the service. Another good thank you.
Another question was on the productivity. Is such a productivity group, how you will measure that? That's right. That these are the quantitative aspects. One other aspect that we could measure is the productivity. That's how that we have just it's just two months, right? So we have uh, analyzed it our usage analytics team. So the uh, I would like to explain how our usage analytics team works. So they basically work on things like feedback, improve, and all. So like if you are uh, into an application and using a particular feature. Once you start a particular task, they have to have a starting point and consider that the end point will be a submit or something. You are just submitting a form or you are just placing a trade for your own investor. So, how long are you taking? What is the average time taken by most of the users in completing that trade? They were all able to measure that. But still, we couldn't uh, uh, give it as a quantitative aspect because it wasn't a sure thing. So, that's how we said that another aspect. So, uh, what kind of challenges you face uh, yeah. while migrating the front end and back end technologies to your own design system? Yeah, even though I never wanted to touch the technology side, we created our own framework platform for this. I was what kind of motivational issues that you had because developers always have that association? Yeah, as I said, there is a customization. All our clients will never use all the services. One, one people will have use or multiple services, but when another people just log into the system, they'll just need two services of us. So the customization part, that didn't uh, come up well in, our, in the initial stages of development. That's the greatest challenge that we had. The customization. Can I ask one more question? Okay. How did you measure the, it's very interesting, yeah. how did you measure the consumption that that your users are able are using certain features and not using certain other features. It is definitely possible using click through. I am not sure about the exact technology that they are using. They are using some log files and all. So if a particular application has uh, multiple menu items and multiple functionalities and under it, they, uh, those people can really able to uh, measure how much uh, what is the usage of a particular functionality, uh, it's, it's easy to find it. That's, that's the work of our uh, usage analytics team to analyze the usage patterns. Thank you, Abhinay, and super enlightened us.